Hello and welcome to my Happy Chaos Guide. This video will go over his most important tools and how to use them properly. Happy Chaos has a very versatile moveset giving him access to multiple win conditions and playstyles. He can play it as a zoner, midrange, or rushdown mix up character, though most people play him as a hybrid of these styles. Happy Chaos has strong footsies buttons with the main ones being 2S and 6S due to their horizontal and vertical disjoints. JS is his best air to ground button, but he has a solid 5k and a decent 6p, though his reward on normal encounter hit is much higher than the rest of the cast. His 5h pulls out a gun, and his steady aim, or 2 one for s is basically an upgraded version of this gun, but I'll talk more about that later. 2s reaches just outside of round start range. This far reaching, low hitting disjoint will be a major tool in stopping approaches. You can chain this into 5h followed by steady aim, which will always lead into a full combo. The 6s reaches from a bit further away. The vertical disjoint makes this a great anti-air with high reward. The forward momentum paired with dash momentum can make this a very far reaching and dangerous tool. The only downside to this move is that lows and 6Ps are very good at stuffing it. JP will be your go-to air-to-air button which can be confirmed into block strings or combos using 5H. JS is great for my IDs or falling, but is typically throwable. Unless you use 5H with it, then you are very close. 6K is deceptively good. It has about the same range of success, but hits low and leaves them standing. Here are a couple of examples. However, Dash 2K is also very good due to its speed, range, and cancel options. 2K 2D and 2K 6K are very common cancel options that will typically combo into 2 3 success. Again, some characters and some spaces hit 2 3 success well with, so you have to convert with 5H into Steady Aim Shot. 2K 6S is another cancel option, but is rarely used since the other two options hit low. But if you want to use it, it's great for sending them full screen and setting up curse or building resources. 5H can be done after whiffing a normal, but the reticle will randomly appear around the character. There's a small chance that it will land on them, allowing for a shot without needing to focus first, but if you want to make sure it will hit, you will need to wait for the reticle to change to the filled in version. Steady aim works the same way. The reticle will randomly appear around them and slowly get more accurate. The main difference is that once curse is on them, every steady aim shot will hit guaranteed even at the fastest possible shot. For 5H, moving around quickly prevents it from being completely accurate. But for steady aim, once it locks on, it will not miss no matter how much you move. I will call this a charge shot for the rest of the video. Happy Chaos doesn't have the strongest round starts due to his strong buttons being slightly slower than most of the cast buttons, so micro walk back to us is a strong option to punish far reaching round start options. If you're confident they'll do a 6p able move, dash up 6p leads to good damage, but this is more of a read. You can also do 2s if you think they'll choose a slower round start to try to chase your retreat. They'll try to chase you because Backdash and Curse Round Start are both very strong in setting up his zoning game. However, due to the recent patch, he can no longer do three fully charged shots from full screen without running out of concentration. So you can do one or two charged shots, then focus. I recommend deciding between one and two based on what their round start is or how close they get, since you will not want them close after you do focus. Finally, getting Curse on them lets you get a fast, unmissable shot, so you can stop them from doing their round start and simply running up on you. Also, all of these round start options lead to well break. When zoning or engaged in mid-range footsies, use 2S, 6S, 2K, and 5K to stuff approaches. 5K and 2K can lead to grounded corner carry which ends in a wall slump. Once they get in the mid-range, and if they continue dash blocking, you can use the plus frames from the charge shot to close the distance without retaliation. You can also cancel steady aim by inputting 2 and for s again. This leaves you the most plus, but is the most costly. It will let you run up into 5H shot into true string pressure from many ranges depending on the amount of bullets you use. This even lets you get a true string 5H shot and since it's a guard crush, if they are dash blocking, they will get hit due to no crosshair protection. Once you start doing charge shot into run up 6S and 6K, they'll be conditioned to block and this is where you can run up and throw. Having curse on them makes for very fast and easy punishes and is extremely strong at stuffing approaches which leads to good reward. Scapegoat is strong against characters with big single hit moves or if they are only fast on the ground. Be careful if they have meter because red RC will happen, sending out a hitbox if they hit the clone. The most difficult part of playing Happy Chaos is managing his resources. Since concentration draining depends on distance from the opponent, point blank you can get 4 charge shots before running out and full screen you can do too. If you make them air block a charge shot, doing focus can make you zero or plus on block depending on how high they are, but it also pushes them back quite a bit. Doing a fast steady aim shot into focus will leave you typically minus nine or worse. 
Grounded charge shot into focus will leave you minus 4, and grounded fast shot into focus will leave you about minus 10. With focus and curse full screen, you can get 6 shots, and without curse, you can get 5. Maintaining a balance between bolts and concentration is important, but the priority should be keeping concentration above zero at all times, followed by keeping bullets at at least one, but preferably two. Having one bar for super focus is extremely useful and lets you more than double your zoning. Happy Chaos' post-burst situation is one of the strongest in the game. Getting a goal burst can completely change the tides of a round. Going straight into steady aim leads to a near meaty charge shot leading into zoning patterns or full combos immediately, with two bars that can be used on super focus or deus ex machina for a hard knockdown and wall break. This is also a great opportunity to use guard crush 5h as a way to hit them out of their dash blocking since you can refresh concentration immediately and still have extra bar. Or you can take this opportunity to take on an aggressive role and use a meter for strong mix-ups. Even if they burst right away, it may still be at your advantage. Stuffing their run-ups with normals I mentioned earlier, or using scapegoat paired with curse and fast shots can be very strong, especially if their character is slow. While I already talked about managing resources, it is also nice to have some general patterns to follow, so I created a few. Most of these patterns will be similar, with the only major changes being when you focus. This is for two reasons. First, you'll want to adjust your patterns based on how close they are to you, Doing charge shot into focus is minus, so this is their best time to approach and hit you before the next gunshot. Second is that having a predictable pattern will make it easy for them to know when to commit to a full dash rather than a dash block. You won't always want to wait to do focus until you're practically out of concentration. Sometimes it's better to get low and not do focus, letting it regenerate while you play footsies. Most of the time you'll want to convert the zoning into pressure anyways, so it's unlikely you will be able to finish an entire zoning sequence unless you can use super focus to refill your concentration while remaining plus. If you want to maintain zoning, it is very important that curse will still be on them after you do focus, otherwise steady aim will take significantly longer to guarantee a shot and even longer to get the charge shot. It will take trial and error to figure out how you want to manage your resources, but I hope this guide has given you everything you need to know to get there. This is part 1 of 4 for my Happy Chaos guides. I plan on doing a video on advanced inputs and tech, pressure mixups and oki, and combos. I also plan on making guides on other characters, so please let me know who else you want to guide on. I will leave you with a clip of me zoning. As you see, I'm not only mixing up between charge shots, curse, and focus, but also fast shots to try to catch dash buttons or failed dash blocks. That's everything. Thank you for watching.